fish, we were, we were just in shock. We've all heard fish tales, giants caught in the Gulf, but how about a 400 pound Iraq Goliath there, grouper uh, while most of the country a felt the impact wrench. of this earthquake, well, uh, it mostly impacted time, the uh, Kurdistan region. Had. Ryan Hine uh, turned his to unwanted that were... tool into a lure last week. He posted a picture on he didn't realize how big that fish would be and how fast it would happen. It was only the first drop and only the third pull up before the fish came and took the jig. About 30 miles offshore, cameras rolling the entire time. His pull bent nearly in half. I knew it was a huge fish immediately. Like, I had no control at all at first, just holding on while the fish went wherever it wanted to, you know. All on this rod and reel, a 50-pound test, not exactly built for this catch. I couldn't believe the gear held up, you know, and we got landed the fish. That was just as unbelievable for me as, as using the wrench itself. Ryan jumped in the water, pulled out a few hooks left by other fishermen, and removed his wrench, from Iraqi cutting his hand in the at least process. Seven people were killed, uh, more uh, and more than 500 others injured. A lot of concern it. right now about a yeah, dam yeah, in that yeah. area. Reports. It's actually uh, right here. This one's bigger. It's a 14. We're stepping it up a little bit. Okay. Now his plan: mm -hmm. build okay. more jigs out of whatever he thinks will work. Yeah, we want to try a fork, maybe a butter knife. Mm -hmm.